Hello everybody and welcome to the Skyrim mod series. Taking a look at the hunting grounds mod made by Kevin568, available on the Skyrim Nexus. The start of this mod is in Glenmore Coven. You fight your way through the cave and then there you will find Harkhine Shrine. There is a horn, take it, use it in your inventory, a loud sound will appear and then you will get teleported to the hunting grounds. The area that you will visit now shall represent the Daedric realm of Harkine, his hunting grounds. The realm is a small area with a lot of animals, vegetation. It is a require, not requirement, but recommended that you are using the summer edition of the Skyrim Flora overhaul to have all the different kind of grasses on the ground. Otherwise, if you don't have all the grass, it might look a little bit empty. So yeah, keep that in mind. The mod is meant for some relaxing hunting. I must say that it looks really really nice here. But all the animals are running around like crazy. And maybe the whole thing could be a little bit bigger. So that there are less animals and you actually have a, a more exciting hunt. You can also find the steed stone here giving you some frost resistance and some carry weight. On the downside you are more vulnerable to fire itself. And here we got the hunter's house called Ernst Hotway. This shall be a reference but I don't get it, I don't know from what it is. He can be, be your follower and you can find his armor in this dresser there. In the new armor called the dragon slayer armor. Which is actually on that mannequin, but it's not shown automatically, so you can just get it out of that mannequin itself, the armor. Gonna show you that at the end of this video. And you can find Hirkind's or Harkind's mask on the pedestal where you teleport it to into this realm. If you use the horn again, so actually unequip it, then you will get teleported back to Harkind's shrine in the cave. And you can just continue with your travels. Here we got Ernst's armor, which has a nice new Robin Hood like cappy, and beside of that, it is a slightly changed version of the Iron Wet armor that you could find a lot of times on the Skyrim Nexus already in all colors and variations. Here is Harkind's mask, wearable deer skull helmet and the dragon slayer armor which looks really good it has a lot of different armors mixed together in itself also the both armors are not available for females they are just male armors and the modder itself doesn't plan to convert or whatever implements somehow female versions of this mod at this point in time and so on Thanks for watching everybody, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. If so, please like the video, leave a comment down below, endorse the mods you are enjoying and I'll see you guys in the next episode.